Okay, so what's up my boos? Welcome back to my channel, Flawless Beauty. I hope you guys have been enjoying the holiday, shopping, eating, being with family and friends. Now that we got that out the way, I did a little black haul, black haul, Black Friday shopping myself, and I wanted to show you guys a little haul of what I got. So this is not in any particular order. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so first on the list, I got all my stuff right next to me. I went to Sephora. Sephora was packed, y'all, but the customer service was good. Um, there was a young lady. She came out with her little, um, what do you call it? Like a handheld payment device. So I didn't have to stand in any line. So when I went to Sephora, I had to replace, okay, one of my favorite scents by Jo Malone. It's the Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt. Let me see, is that how you say it? Anyway, packaging is cute. Um, yeah, Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt. So this is what I got, y'all. And I really love this scent because it's so fresh it's clean it's not like really something that you'll ever that you'll smell often on people when I first if I can get it out the box child oh you want to be difficult come on now well child I'm gonna have to show it to y'all oh here it go Finally. So anyway, this is what the bottle looks like. And um, it's pretty big. This takes me a while to get through it. It's 3.4 fluid ounces. And yeah, it smells like the ocean. It smells like freshness. It has a little bit of, it's, it's a citrus scent. And um, yeah, I love it. So I had to replace this. And this is what I got from Sephora. Okay. So next on the list, I need to get my stuff organized. I went to Banana Republic, okay? They rebranded themselves. They're now called BR, and um, they also have uh, furniture in there now. Is that how you say it? Furniture? Decor. Yes, furniture decor in there. Lovely. I had to walk back out and look at the name and make sure that I was in the right place because it looks totally different. So anyway, you guys, take out the fluff. And what I got is... I got two pairs of pants. The first pant that I got is these jeans so they're jeans but they have like a suede film up under them so they're brown but then you can kind of see like the blue coming through oh i love these i these are menswear i did have to go up in a size um because yeah they don't have that much stretch and i got booty and hip so i have one up a size i will have to take these in in the back but i am so loving these jeans and they were having a 40% off. So I got another pair, which is these caramel colored, um, what do you call this? I just had it in my head, corduroys. These are really cute too. They look great on the booty. They are a little bit of a higher cut, but these will go so good with um, some booties. So yeah, when I got these, tried them on, loved them, got both pairs for less than $150. So yeah, that was that. Then I went to Michael Kors and I went like the, no, I didn't, not this one. I went to Michael Kors because um, Monroe Steel um, was showing us that um, we've been sleeping on their clothing line. So I was like, let me go in there and see. 
but I wanted like a black simple everyday dress, especially for the holiday season. So I got this baby doll pleated dress, dress, so cute you guys, um, with a little collar and then the buttons are hidden. So yeah, this holiday season, you can eat as much as you want and still look as sleek and as chic as you want, huh, baby girl. And for this, it was 175, but they were having, um, was it 30%, 25%? So I got this for like 80 something dollars. But yeah, get into it. It is a little bit sheery, but you can't see through it. And it's a little bit thin, so I would advise that if you're going outside in this cold weather, that you um, put yourself on a jacket. And the least, I want to coach down, coach. And I got, I got myself a little purse. So here she goes. And I got cheetah print because cheetah print, oh, it even looks cute with this outfit. Cheetah print is a neutral. So it's gonna go with everything that I put it with as long as it's, I believe, a solid color. You could mix patterns, but you know, be easy with it. Um, Cause you don't wanna have too much going on. But yeah, it's made out of pony hair, leather. It has a little coach thing. It does have a strap so you can wear it across the body or you can just wear it handheld like that. And then you look inside, ooh, it's got like a little wallet thing for you to put your money or your cards in, little departments, so there's there's four. And then there's one all the way in the back, leather, and then inside it's that peanut butter color. Love this, love this, love this. They did have a larger size, um, but it was sold out by the time I got to them. And this was 40% off. So I got her for like two, maybe 230. Yes, yes. Great purchase, great purchase. Next, I went to Kiehl's, okay? And for those of you that don't know what Kiehl's is, it used to be um, a pharmaceutical and then they switched over and they started selling merch. So what I got from them um, again, Monroe Steel had turned me on to this type of lotion. Um, it looks so moisturizing, it looks so shiny, and it lasts all day. This was 50% off. So I think this is usually like 50 something dollars, but yeah, got it for 25. And then I got their original musk. This smells very good. It's very fresh, very, it's like a powdery fresh. Um, yeah, love this. And um, how many ounces is this? It's 1.7 fluid ounces and it comes in this amber bottle. I had the lotion of this like way back in the day. It smells so good, it smells so good. And then the longer you let it sit, the more like different fragrances and notes come out of it. What are the notes? Does it even say, let me see. As you say, it's the original formula. Um, but I'm not really seeing what the notes are right now. So yeah, but I do know it's a very um, fresh, powdery, light scent. Excellent, excellent for every day. And then, this thing fell out my doggone bag, y'all. I went to Sage. So it's like a natural wellness um, store. They sell a lot of um, essential oils, um, the diffuser systems, um, different uh, roll-ons, anything from respiratory to sleep to stress. So it's like, it's it's one of those types of places, okay? It, you feel like you're getting your Sade on when you go in there. So last year I had brought their um, oil diffuser, so I wanted to get another set um, of essential oils to go in there. So one of them I did take out, but one of them is the Tranquility and that's for sleep. And then there is Deep Breath and that's for revitalizing diffuser. Um, Elevate is energizing. Goddess is euphoric diffuser. Um, Liquid Sunshine is a cheerful dispenser. Uh, excuse me, yeah, diffuser. 
And then present moment is a type of a grounding Aurora. And yeah, and these do work. These do work. They have a lot of um, homeopathic, natural um, herbs and things like that that go inside of it um, that, like I said, are great for respiratory, great for cheering you up in the mood, um, putting you to sleep, relaxing you. They have a lot of the same scents that you can roll onto your body. Um, so yeah, if you guys haven't heard of Sage, you should definitely, definitely check them out. Okay, so next on the list, Lush. So Lush is, it's like a, it's like an elevated Bath and Body Works. Um, all their stuff is natural and vegan. Um, it's for the body. It smells so good right now. It smells so good. So I got this, um, it's a bath bubble bar and it looks like this. How cute is that? And you don't have to use the entire thing. You can just break off little pieces and put it into your bath and it has your skin so soft and supple and smelling all good, honey. Smelling all good. And then the next thing I got, um, what is this? A bubble bar and it's gold. And you can put that in your bath water too. Um, got this gold stuff on it but you can put that um in your bath water too and just like enhance it it's like if you were to put you never cowed on um the little scented seed beads or whatever in there relax turn on some smooth jazz a little glass of wine girl you'll be good to go okay and then last but not least I got this face and body scrub I love 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 this I love it it's called Ocean Salt. And yes, after using this, I mean, it gets away all of the dead skin. All of it. And I brought quite a few of these in the past. So, and this says that it's vodka free. Yeah, the girl was like, she put vodka. I'm like, vodka? Why would you put vodka in a body scrub? But y'all who knows? But the ingredients, like I told you, are all natural, fine sea salt, fresh grapefruit infusion, um, hand harvest sea salt, fresh lime extract. Um, yeah, and the list goes on and on. Just bomb, wonderful. If you do have a Lush in your area, I suggest, highly suggest you check that out with your best friend, your mother, your daughter. Y'all are gonna like it. That's some grown women stuff. That's some grown women stuff. Um, next, H&M, H&M. And H&M was having a 40% off of all their stuff too. So I got this gold midi dress. I know it don't look like nothing right now, but when you put it on, honey, when you put it on, and this is a great holiday dress, great work dress, great everyday dress. It's like in this crinkled um, material. So you know what I mean? You can get away with any cellulite, any bumps or lumps. Um, it's very forgiving and there's so much stretch. I could have even went down to a size small. So the next thing I got was this Teddy type of material um, baseball hat. Really love this. As you guys can see, I took my braids out. My hair is very short. Um, I just washed and permed it right now. That's why I got a hat on because I'm trying to lay and slay tomorrow, honey. I'm trying to lay and slay. But um, yeah, I got this, thought it was really cute. I think I seen fashion and politics. She had something very similar to this. And when I tried it on, I thought that would be great. Cause as you guys can see, I am a hat girl. I'm in my hat season. That is all for the H&M. And then next, I went to Journeys. And I'm so sad because the Ugg store closed near me. And the closest one was like, too far for me to go to. So I do have a tall pair of great Uggs that I love all the time, but this time I kind of seen that, you know, the girlies were getting the more short ones. So it was between like the ultra short, excuse me, ultra mini and mini. So yeah, this is what the box looks like. 
And I haven't worn none of this stuff yet. I was waiting. My stuff been in the box, chilling. It's time for them to come out and join the other clothes. I'm in the closet for the party. So this is what I got. So I just got the minis. I didn't get the ultra minis. Um, but yeah. So everybody pretty much knows Uggs. They've got that lambskin inside. If y'all can see. And yeah, they say Ugg on the back. And then they're in this caramel uh, suede color. So, love these. These will be keeping your girl warm, okay? And then I got some cute socks too um, that I'm gonna be putting on with it with some leggings because, yeah, I saw the girlies wearing it like that and it was very cute. It was giving, it was giving. It was getting my model off duty. I'm running errands, but I still wanna look cute, okay? So, next on the list, Victoria, Victoria, and her secrets. Okay, so, one of these bras I did already wear, but I don't know what to tell you because I needed some new bras. But anyway, so we have this one right here. Um, it is a skin tone flush bra. This is the color of my skin. That's why I picked that, wearing it up under um, sheer things or anything that you just, you know, you don't want the color of the, the bra to show through in your clothing. And um, yeah. And I, like I told you guys, I am a heavy chested girl, so I don't like all that padding. So I'm glad that this didn't have that. It just had just enough to, you know, stop the nipples from coming through when I'm wearing thin shirts. So yeah, like this a lot. And it has a bigger, uh, thicker strap on the side as well. Um, so we have a lot more, a lot more support going on. And then I got this one. And she's a beautiful purple, like eggplant color, very soft, okay? There's no cushion um, in this one. And again, it has a nice thick strap on the side. So yeah, I wonder if they say what type of bra these are. Let me see. No, I don't think they say. They just have numbers and they have the size and tell you how to wash it. But I don't think it says, it just says Body by Victoria. So yeah. And this is, a, um, I wanna say it's a t-shirt bra. And then it has um, the little V with the little bow. Very cute, very nice. Um, let me see if this one says the same thing, if it says his body too. Let me see. This one says, oh, 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 it does say it. It says that this is a Demi. Come on now. Where was you at? Lined Demi. Okay. So this is a lined Demi. And this one is, child, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm doing this for y'all, okay? unlined demi mm -hmm. double that's what this one is okay and then i got another one but this is more like a a, a not a bralette a barcelet is that how they say it b-a-r something 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 y'all know what i'm talking about where it cuts half like it doesn't do a v it just goes straight across and this is a little lacy number and this is in a very muted purple love that it's almost like a, a purple gray Loving that. And then again, the straps, honey. These are for the big girls, the big Chi Chi girls, okay? So it has a nice thick strap on it. And look at all these clasps that it has, you know? One, two, three, four. It's got four. It's got four sizings in the back. Oh, and also, 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 it's a strapless bra. So you can convert this bra so you can make it strapless, halter top, or you can do racer if you'd like. So yeah. And I can't wait to try those all on. I know what size I wear, but that line was too long in Victoria. No ma'am, I was not about to go in the dressing room. Um, so the next one I got was this black one right here. And I love this because it's like a mesh. Um, so it has the nude under it and it has black mesh on top. Um, the band is not, oh shoot. 
the band on here is not as thick, but yeah, it's gonna get the job done. It's very sexy, honey, it's very sexy. And then next I got two perfumes. If you guys haven't realized it, and I will be doing a video about this. I love perfume, I love smelling good. So this is the Bare Rose, and I've already wore it like twice, and it smells so good. It's like a very florally scent, um, and it has kind of like an undertone of Centaur 33, if y'all know what I'm talking about, by Le Labo, in there, and just like a pretty rose, and it's so good. I smelled this all the way from the escalator one day when I was in the mall, and I was like, what is that scent? And my nose followed me right to this. So I knew come Black Friday, your girl was gonna get her a bottle, okay? Okay, next, I got the Tease Me, oh, sorry, Tease Coco. What does that say? Soret. If I'm saying it wrong, correct me another day. So yeah, I smelled her while I was in the store. Now this is an unboxing, okay? And I love the way she smelled. I think she's very sweet. Look how pretty that bottle is. Stunning. Yes, this has like a very sweet scent. Mm, like a sweet floral. Very good for a date night, okay? Yeah, mmm, yeah. Sweet, yeah, sweet floral. I don't know if I really smell the cocoa in it, if it's supposed to have chocolate. A little bit at the end. I think that's what I'm picking up. It says it's lush wild berry, uh, freeze petals, whipped mocha, okay. I am smelling the whipped mocha at the end. So those are the notes in this, and it is a 1.7 ounce. So yeah, cannot wait to wear that. Um, what else do I have? Ooh, yes! Since we're on perfumes. Mm hmm And let me just say, I've done a lot of shopping in my day, and customer service is very, very important. And when you go to these high-end stores, the customer service is top tier. You don't even have to buy anything. Just the simple way that they greet you when you walk in. You want something to drink? Sparkling? Steel? Champagne? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, I do. Okay? While you just look around and shop, they're very attentive to you. You get your own, your own personal essay when you go in there. I mean, I love it. They give you their name and their phone number to keep up with them in case you want to do any more purchases. Like, Walmart would never. And you know how much money I didn't gave Walmart? Okay, hundreds of thousands in my life. Okay, you think when I come in there and ask, do I want a glass of water? Do I need any help? Every time you ask them, do they know where something is? They always look at you like a deer in the headlights and then tell you to go ask somebody else. But that's another story for another day. So anyway, I got myself another perfume. Oh, have you guessed it? This one. So this is the Cartier... Cartier, Cartier, excuse me, La Panther. And this, this one right here, this one right here, this is for the grown, okay? This is for grown woman. This, 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 this smells like my niece, okay? This smells like what the Queen of England, okay? Would wear, God rest her soul. But yes, it's very luxe. Very loud too, so you don't want to spray too much of this. Somebody, you might choke somebody out. So I had to learn that the hard way. I got a little heavy handed with it, but yeah, like I said, this is this is very grown. This is when you go on to handle business. Okay, you go on to church. Um, yes, you want you want people to know when you have entered the room that you is that girl. That's this one right here, and that you don't play games. You don't play games. That's this one. So yeah. And does it say what the notes are? Let me see. Where the box at? Absolutely not. No, it doesn't say what the notes are. Expansion. Okay, that's the notes. Expansion. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, 
The next item I got is from Doc Martin. Okay, so I did buy, no, I didn't buy it. My husband gifted me some Doc Martens like two Christmases ago, but they were black and I never really, I don't know what it was about them, but I really was not gravitating towards them like that. So um, when I saw these though, I was like, yeah, these is more, these is more um, my style, my go. So it's like a nice chocolate um, mahogany brown and it is um, a platform. And yes, these, you do have to break them in a little. It's not as bad as what people say, but yeah. So these are called the Jordans. I think these are, these are the Jordans, right? Let me see. Yeah, Jordan, dark brown. It's dark brown. And I believe I got, I did get my size. I did get my size, a size eight. And this is them. So I'm really loving these. Cannot wait to put these on. I might wear them tomorrow. I might wear them tomorrow. So yeah, these are them. They're so cute, they're so fun. And then I got um, a pair of socks that say Doc Martin on them. I love this mustardy color um, with the blocked out black and then like the maroon with the white mixed in. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. So I cannot wait to wear those two together. And last, but certainly not least, we have Zara. Now we need to talk about Zara because she disappointed me real bad. Um, so it was 40%, but only off of select items. It's Black Friday. It should be 40% off of everything in the store. And needless to say, a lot of the stuff was not on sale. Like, I spent more than I wanted to in there. But I was getting winter clothes for my baby girl, so I was just like, here you go. But yeah, but mm, Zara, we need to talk. Because them prices, mm, I don't know. They are going up. They not like they used to be. But thank God the quality is still good because if the prices go up and the quality goes down, we moving on, baby girl. We moving on. Okay. So the first thing I got is this rib turtleneck. It's a little bit cropped. I did get this in a size medium because there's nothing like a good turtleneck in the wintertime, honey. It says, I am about my business. So I got that. And then... I got this midi skirt. It's like a, it's, it has a silver sheen over the gray. It's got a zipper in the back and a slit. Oh, I love this. So light and dainty. Like this is a, this would be a wonderful um, skirt to wear to um, a Christmas or a holiday event or even just to work. Screams sexy, honey, sexy. Or I can even do a whole monochromatic look with this turtleneck and kill them softly. But I'ma let y'all be the judge, honey, and I'ma holler. The next thing I got, I have been eyeballing this belt, okay? There's nothing like a good belt to, to cinch you in, to cinch in a dress, a blazer, whatever, you name it, okay? If, you, if your outfit is ever missing anything, it's probably missing a hat or a belt or a jacket. So yeah, so it's this double buckle and I like that one buckle was one a buckle was smaller than the other. So that gave it a whole lot of character. And yeah, so I got this and I can't wait to wear it. I hope it doesn't give Santa Claus vibes. But yeah, I got her. And I got a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be cinched in. Next, I got another skirt. And it is a satin midi skirt. These are all the rave right now. And I got it in this like muted olive color. Very pretty, very pretty. Cannot wait to wear this with a nice sweater, a bodysuit, a turtleneck, um, and the list goes on and on for that. 
And then the last thing I got was this choker. Y'all can already see I had on the fan favorite Zara choker from maybe two seasons ago. Three, doesn't matter. Still wear your stuff, honey. So I got this um, choker. So it has this um, silver like bulb on it. And then the part that you wrap around your neck is leather. Mm. Tell me she ain't nasty. So yeah, those are all things. Let me look around, let me look around. Those are all the things that I got on my Black Friday shopping haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys stay tuned for another video, my booze. And um, I'll talk to you soon.